Hello, welcome to the Retro Game Review. This is number seven, and we're doing Yo Noid today. It is a game based off of a pizza mascot. Yo Noid, or Noid as he is known, was the mascot for Domino's in the 80s. And he is totally forgotten now today. He has not hung around like the Little Caesar guy has. So, a little about Noid is that he was the mascot in for a while. And he is, for some reason, a guy, I guess, dressed up in bunny ears. And uh, there was a guy one time that had the last name Annoyed, and everybody was saying to avoid the Noid because that was the Noid's mascot. And this guy thought they were telling the people to avoid him. And so he went crazy and took people hostage into dominoes. So, well, anyways, back to the game. This game is a center kind of platformer game. Noid kills people with his yo-yo. But he can get killed, of course, by everything. It's like a standard platformer. Like, newspapers don't kill him, but fish do, and mis men with fishing gear do. And also touching any kind of bird or anything. I don't really like that, because uh, in the other platformers, you kind of get a chance, at least. You, maybe you can collect a coin or collect a ring, and you get one chance. And this is my absolute number one pet peeve. That looks like you can go on to that right there, but you can't. It was above the water, but apparently I just fall through. So, this annoyed guy, he's, uh, I guess, apparently allergic, or uh, the water is poison. So, somehow he can't get wet. And it's not even cold, can't get wet like a gremlin or something like that. I don't even know where they are, like the tide, tide going up, the wharf, and there it goes again. <laughs> you can hear me in the background, just a little face palming. So, when you try to get through this level, I cannot get through the first level, though. And usually, when I'm playing a game and for 10 minutes, I can't get through the first level, I usually give up. So, everything can hurt you in this one. Like I said, you die instantly, and you get continues, but I don't use them because I haven't got through the first level. And there's some kind of level select screen that you can go to, but it won't let you select anything if you can't get past the first level. So, I know the newspapers in here give you some kind of power or something like that. Oh, there I die again. But I, I don't really know what it is. I probably shouldn't look it up if I'm doing a review, but um, I'm not so sure. This is one of the games back in the day that was made from kind of to promote a prod product because this is really promoting the dominoes right here. This is another game, if I remember right, it's another game in Japan. So this is based off of a game that's a Japanese game that was probably way too hard just like this one. And I know people are going to say, oh, this game's not really too hard. It's too hard for me. I guess I'm not that great at Nintendo platformers. Even though I beat the Mario games and Kirby's Venture, but that's about it. So, <laughs> like I said, uh, everything can kill this guy, and it's just not working well for me. I died way too many times on this, and there's no, ch no checkpoint on here. They would make it better if there's a checkpoint, like you didn't have to start over from the beginning every time because it really just gets like tedious. I don't want to describe a game as tedious or monotonous, but it really is. It's just like the same thing over and over again because eventually you'll die and I'll die and I'll die and I'll die on the platform that that was up. And I'll go back to the screen, play this game again, go to the intro again. And eventually, I have my fate. I really wonder what's past this level, but I can really never make it past the first level. Maybe I should have tried some game genie key cheats to make me invincible or something like that. But, yeah, it's not really worth it for this game to search out um, game genie cheats or anything to help me along. Because I'm just really not interested in playing this game. It was based on a, a mascot that's long forgotten. And it's just a standard game that you would find in on the Nintendo area. I do love what one of the redeeming thing is I do like his weapon. His weapon is kind of like a, a not a melee weapon, but a ranged weapon, so that you could go out and hit the bad guys, and <clears throat> it's a pretty good range and and goes straight forward in front of you, so it doesn't arc or anything, so it's not stupid like that. So I would not recommend this game to anybody. It just really made me mad, and it doesn't look that great with graphics, rise, and everything, and you can die way too easy. So, this has been the Retro Game Review. Thanks for watching. So, it's been the Retro Game Review. Thanks for watching, and tell me what you would like to see reviewed next.